G'day guys, welcome back to Bread and Butter. Today I want to share with you my Keto Fudge Brownie recipe. It is super easy to make, so let's do it. Alright, so preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius and grab yourself a brownie pan, I'm using an 8x10 and just line that with some baking paper. So now you want to get your butter and chocolate together. I'm just going to melt that in the microwave. Today I'm just using the Lint 95% dark chocolate. You could use any other chocolate, keto friendly of course. So with our melted butter and chocolate, we're just going to add in our vanilla. We've got two tablespoons of organic cacao powder, 75 grams of almond meal, I got 100 grams of powdered erythritol, and then we also just need two eggs, at room temperature preferably. So let's just combine all the ingredients together. Now, don't be worried with the consistency. It will look a little bit grainy, but it will taste delicious. Next, we're gonna just add some crushed walnuts to the brownie mix. This will make a really nice contrast in textures. So the easiest way for walnuts, just chuck it in a Ziploc bag and give it a real light beating with a rolling pin. There we go, clean up is super easy as well. So keep that a mix in, and that's your brownie mix done. All we need to do now is fill it into our brownie tin. And I'm just gonna even it out a little bit. All right, so there's our brownie ready to bake in our 175 degree oven. Alright, so that's only been 10 minutes in the oven. You just want to check it with a toothpick and you don't want it to come out completely clean. You still want it to have the fudgy centre. Perfect. So this recipe was 10 minutes in the oven. Depending on what size tin you're using, you may need to go a little bit longer. But remember, you definitely want to undercook it rather than overcook it. And now we're just going to leave it and let it cool before we cut it. All right, so now that that's cooled, you can easily remove it by using the paper. And we're just gonna cut this into 16 pieces. All right guys, there you have it, the keto brownie recipe. So easy to make. Remember, each slice is only 2.2 net gram carbs each. So you could actually have eight of these or half of the brownie and still be under 20 gram net carbs. All right, if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe for further uh, recipes from Bread and Butter. Cheers.